Hi all, I'm Crystal Hammer and this is Stunt Rally Free Track Editor video tutorial. This chapter is about terrain layers. It is optional for beginners because you can usually get a good looking track from the available terrain layers, uh, but for unique and creative tracks for more experienced users, I recommend customizing the terrain layers. Now let's look closely at layers and blend map. Here on the steering four layers are used right now. Each has different scale. Usually mountains have bigger scale. And the closer flat areas like grass usually have smaller scales. This right now isn't working. It's used for all the terrain. Each layer has terrain angle ranges and terrain height ranges at which it will appear. It also has noise parameters. These allow the layer, for example this sand, to blend into this rock using noise one parameters. at full scale. If we reduce this to half or to zero, then we will have more sand. It can also bring to the second layer, which is this rock, but using these parameters. You can also make it to zero but this is usually more artistic to have this set higher and also it allows you to mask the texture a bit. You can test the blend map using this tool. This layer is red on blend map. The next one is green. Then we have blue, and the fourth is white or gray. Now it is rather important to have clear colors on blend map, like we see here. If the layers would cover each other and mix too much, then the colors will start to be impure. Like for example here, we don't see now any clear colors of red, green and blue and white. We have them mixed all, which makes the layers mix too much with each other. Let's reload this. Now I will show some tracks and uh, their setup for layers and explain how they are working. Uh, this is track called Sway. It is good to show only uh, angle ranges. It is using four layers, which is also the maximum number that you can get. So let's enable test for blend map and reduce noise. Now we can see, for example, the first layer which will be red on blend map and it will be appearing on terrain from four angle ranges. 0 to 15.7 and then for this smooth distance it will blend to the second layer. We can disable for example the fourth and third layers 
and it will be easier to see in this range. The first layer red is also the default layer. So for example, if this second layer wouldn't cover all terrain angles, then those sharp red spots of default layer will appear. You can recognize them because of this sharp edge. This shouldn't really be used, but sometimes it's the only way to achieve something. So this track is simply using four layers and each one is for different range of terrain angles. Uh, we can also demonstrate adjusting this. For example, I'm now shifting those two layers to smaller angles. We shouldn't leave gaps between angles like this and this. Cover them with smooth range. The bigger the smooth, then the higher will be the range. So I have changed the rocky layers to be on higher and lower angles of terrain, which makes those sandy layers appear on more flat areas. On this track we can also see that there is a lot of repeat of texture. That's why I rec recommend using noise to cover this. This is still showing, but the vegetation covers that. If there was no vegetation to cover this, we could use also the second noise. And same for other layers. It made, made the terrain more rocky and darker. So it's up to these parameters to tweak those to what we want to. The last layer can only blend to, blend to the previous layer and it is using the previous layer noise parameters. Now I will demonstrate on this track also height ranges. Let's look at layers. And let me quickly disable this one now. So we have now three layers. Let's also disable noise. There is the sand then grass and rocks. This sand will only appear up to height of terrain 6 and then smooth for 3 meters.
So by setting these height marks, we can make this sand to be only up to this height. But we also need to set the other layers to start appearing from some height. And with this smooth it will match. Now let me explain this layer which I disabled at first. It is only used at noise and it covers uh, whole terrain ranges. If I enable it, it will make the blend map shift colors. So let's use this to move this at the end. Now we have our layers as before red green and blue and this layer doesn't even appear anywhere this is because it's only as noise and if it is on this noise we can blend other layers to it but this will only be possible from this layer so I move this layer in the middle here so I could blend from this to the screen one and from this blue also to the green one which is helping to cover the texture repeat and giving some variety. So this is the last track for examples of layers. It is using four layers, the sand, grass, brown rocks and white rocks. So the first layer of sand ends at about 75 meters below zero. We can check where it is with height brush. It's about here. And then all the others must start from 75 meters below. Let's enable test and see this red layer. Also, let's disable noise. And have a closer look. We can see here that the blending isn't pure here. Because these layers overlap and this is creating that area of something in between grass and sand, also using rock. We can adjust this by changing the smooth and height marks for this layer and the next one. If we go too much and we'll create gaps, then this layer, this default layer will start appearing. Now let me show also the other height setup, which is for this white rocks. It is meant to appear fully from this height and blend 100 meters below that. This is the 
full height and blending 100 meters below here. If we adjusted this, we could have it blend further and these layers will be blending together. For such mountains, this isn't enough to cover the texture repeat. So that's why we have noise. To have some variety. But for such maps, it would be beneficial to use more layers and uh, currently this is possible by creating another terrain let me show an example of terrains this track is showing few different terrains with own setup layers Currently this is a work in progress, but if you have terrains in the same position, then it's possible to edit them. Here there are five terrains. This is for desert area, this is for volcanic area, and the last one is for space with crystals, and it also has a reflection of four layers. One last thing to cover is adding more layers. Let me show it this on this track. And let's remove road. So this track has three layers. Let's for example add another one. Let's pick a texture more than black. And then let's enable it and set it to be on higher sl slopes. So this has to end earlier and this has to start closely matching. And let's disable noise and set the scale to be higher. Usually mountains need to have higher scale to repeat less. So we can see this as white and it's appearing here. If we wanted this to be more visible then we have to reduce smooth. Another case would be if we wanted this to be from some height, not just by angle, so we would have to adjust all the layers to end at this height. 10 meters and start this at 10 and cover all angle ranges 
So now roughly this is what we wanted. So this a layer to appear from height 10 and cover upper layers of terrain. Mm 